so this morning I came out here a couple hours ago and just doing my sunrise worship alone time with the Lord and I saw a sweet precious little lady walking by herself along the seashore here and um, you know when she walked by me again after I was finished with my first video uh, uploading a song a worship song um, to YouTube and Facebook and uh, she stopped by and she said may I take your pictures and um, so I said sure so she took a whole bunch of pictures of me in front of the sunrise and I was very very thankful and grateful and um, of course we started chatting I asked her if she lived here and she said yes and um, so she's a very um, sweet um, uh, lady that's retired here she's from the Philippines and um, I told her that I come out here to do my uh, devotional and my worship time and I upload my video upload 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 my videos to YouTube and Facebook to share with my friends and whoever wants to watch it and then when she when I said that she was so excited she had tears rolling down her cheeks and she's she was like oh my goodness I've been uh, wanting to learn to upload videos to YouTube to share with the children in the Philippines she has a heart um, for ministry to share Jesus in the Philippines to the kids there very poor children and to the kids and their parents there and I guess she's written something um, a book um, about God about the Lord and um, it's translated into three different languages uh, Tagalog English and shoot I forgot what the third language was I forgot but anyways she's been wanting to learn how to do that but didn't know how so to make the long story short I was moved with uh, just love for her I told her I love you and I hugged her tight and um, we were like worshiping the Lord together like in our hearts and she said I am so glad that um, you know we met this morning I know that God put you in my life something like that and I knew at that moment once I saw tears rolling down her cheeks I realized that wow this is not an ordinary meeting this is a God encounter meeting right here and I just felt and she felt it too we felt the presence of God you know right there with us and in that moment and I knew that God um, had orchestrated our path to meet was such a time as this so tomorrow morning we're meeting up at 7 a.m. to walk here along the ocean and she invited me to go have breakfast at her condo she's making um, I think pancit which is the uh, traditional Filipino uh, glass noodle skinny noodle dish that I love so she's making that dish and um, so she's my new friend and we are on a mission um, to share the gospel, share the love of God through YouTube and, um, uh, you know, technology because um, she needs help with that. And I told her, I said, oh, I'm not good with technology at all. But just a little bit that I know playing around and uploading videos um, since 2016, the Lord has used that to draw hundreds of thousands of people from around the world to hear about his message his uh, good news of grace, mercy, love, forgiveness. And um, so that's what she wants to do. So I'm pretty excited. So um, I came out here to do a devotional for June 16th to encourage myself, to encourage you guys. So I'm sitting here on my towel, <laughs> on a rock. Amen. Uh, Jesus Christ, our solid rock. And... Um, Got my leg on my Bible so the wind doesn't blow stuff away and then these precious four little boys came right after me and they're enjoying uh, God's beautiful creation as well. So here's the word. I pray it will bless you, encourage you, knowing that our God is orchestrating our path and he's directing, leading and showing us his will for today 
Amen. All right. Trust my will for your work. I'm giving you the strength and wisdom for everything you have to accomplish this month and this year. I'll never ask you to do something that you aren't able to do by the power of my spirit who empowers and instructs you daily, hour by hour. It's important to meditate on my word for clarity and guidance. Believe that I'm working in you to make my power known in all that you do. Hallelujah. Just like our meeting this morning. That was a God thing, a God encounter, God ordained, God orchestrated, God appointed. All right. Believe that I'm working in you to make my power known in all that you do. I'll make my power known in your life and your work. Hallelujah. Scripture references for this is Ephesians 5.17. Psalms 4 and 5, Psalm 32, verse 8, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. I'm going to turn to that as I go retrieve my paper that just flew off. All right, I look at this pretty shell. Pretty, pretty, yeah. All right. Ephesians 5.17, it says, 5.17 through 21, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every good opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Amen. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Hallelujah. So it says to make the best of every opportunity because the days are evil. We've got to redeem the time back. You know, the world is using the internet and technology for wicked, evil purposes. But uh, we've got to redeem the days because the days are evil. And, um, you know, meeting this precious saint that loves God, loves people with all her heart um, is making the best of the opportunities that I have here. I know that it's the Lord that brought me here, brought her here, and has allowed our path to cross. I'm excited about our friendship, our connection, you know, for the kingdom of God and for friendship and fellowship. So, so thankful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. Psalm 4 and 5. Let's see. Psalm 4 and 5. Psalm 4 and 5. Where are we at? It says, Offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. Right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. There can be wrong sacrifices and right sacrifices. And always trust in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And then Psalm 32.8 is so windy here. Alright. 32.8. It says, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Oh, that's 33. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Hallelujah. Do not be like the horse or the mule which have no understanding but must be controlled by a bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts Him. Hallelujah. So God is the one that lead, guide, instruct, and teach us the way that we should go. And He counsels us, each and every single one of His sheep, His child. He counsels us, especially when we look to Him 
and seek him in his word for his heart, his will. Amen. And I'm so thankful that I have the um, personal instruction, guidance, and leadership of the Holy Spirit for every season of my life. Thank you, Father. You are a faithful Father, faithful and true shepherd. Thank you, Lord. And let's see. Philippians 4. That's the last scriptures I'm going to share. Philippians 4. What a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I did mark it. Now, where is it? Hmm. I did mark it, but the wind blew it, blew my marker off. Philippians 4. Taking me. Okay. Philippians 4. And verse 8. Okay. 4 verse 8. It says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. You know, knowing the truth is very important, but it's knowing and doing the truth, putting it into practice that sets us free. When we walk in the truth as he is, in, as he is the truth, Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, as we walk in his truth, his light, then we are set free because only the truth sets us free. Amen. Not our truth, but God's truth. Hallelujah. That sets us free. And Jesus is the truth. And for whom the Son has set free is free indeed. So we need to face the truth. Whatever it is, good, bad, ugly, evil, we need to face it. And the truth shall set us free as we put it into practice. I pray this word blesses you. Give God glory, honor, and praise, and let us seek His heart, His word, His will for wisdom and revelation, personal instruction for what He desires to accomplish in us. You know, there are life-changing encounters that He is bringing to pass for our good and for His glory and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Be blessed. Today is my play day with um, my nephew, Joshua, Lydia, my eight-year-old niece, and Ethan. We're going to play hard today. We're going to go to the pool. I'm going to go to the hot tub and um, just enjoy each other and enjoy this beauty that God has blessed us with. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you. We love you. Pour out your spirit upon us, your sons and daughters. Lead us, guide us, instruct us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.